Hey guys, welcome back to Rated RPG. Ray here, and today we are talking about Resident Evil. The franchise has been sailing smoothly for the past number of years, ever since Resident Evil 7 gave it kind of a soft reboot. Resident Evil 7? Good. People liked it. I didn't particularly care for it 100%, but it was a good game. Overall, I enjoyed it. Then Resident Evil 2 Remake, a shorter experience but definitely a sweet one and being regarded as one of the best entries in the entire Resident Evil series. Resident Evil 3 Remake then comes out and I personally love it despite many folks out there having different expectations of it. It was not what a lot of people thought it would be in terms of length, in terms of content, but I personally love it, and I love Nicole Tompkins' portrayal of Jill Valentine, which I think has been the best portrayal of Jill thus far in the entire series. But now we come to all the rumors and speculations surrounding Resident Evil 4. The whole rumor that Resident Evil 4 was getting... A remake has been around for a while and people just thought it was the natural progression of things originally the rumor was that the development studio M2 was working on it the same development studio that did the Resident Evil 3 remake however since then uh, the rumors and speculations and the leaks all say that that production has ceased and been rebooted back in-house at Capcom uh, inside the studio, inside Capcom, native, whatever. Point is, supposedly Resident Evil 4 is being worked on, and it is being worked on in-house at Capcom now, not by an outside studio. Here's the thing. We have been getting years of speculation, of innuendo, of leak and rumor and supposition about the existence of the Resident Evil 4 remake. It has been, at this point, all but confirmed. But now... We have a leak, not just any leak, a big one, and actually kind of a worrisome one. See, the voice actor, DC Douglas, who has voiced Albert Wesker in several games, has allegedly broke NDA by confirming in a live stream that he would be returning as Albert Wesker in portions of Resident Evil 4 Remake in some way or form in the game's uh, alternate modes. Now this obviously is bad because you have a major actor who admittedly is known for being kind of scummy. In fact, he's been known for being kind of a creep. Putting aside his political affiliations, he's just personally known as kind of a weirdy creep. But he is now being called out as having broken NDA for confirming the existence of Resident Evil 4 for saying yes he will be Albert Wesker and for sharing concept art allegedly that we cannot prove whether or not it is real concept art we have no way to confirm or deny this the uh, veracity of it is unknown but he did share concept art uh, and in the, his uh, sharing of this, he actually said, Hey, person I'm sharing with this, don't share it with anybody else because I could get sued. Since then, DC Douglas has been working damage control in the sense that he has finally shut his giant trap and actually deleted his Twitter. So... What's going to happen here, we have no effing clue, because this is not Tom Holland having a uh, lovable slip-up. This is a actor who has had a troublesome past, allegedly, intentionally, and knowingly violating an NDA and actually sharing classified materials and knowledge. So, what could happen? Uh, we could see him just go radio silent and get threatened uh, possibly by Capcom and told to keep his big bazoo shut until the game's eventual announcement. Or he could be pulled entirely for all we know and sued once the game is finally announced. Because <sighs> this guy, he's, he's not the only person to ever voice Albert Wesker and he certainly uh, can't wouldn't be the last. So this is really just laughable because... You have somebody who's worked in the video game industry 
for a long time. But he has had a very troubled history. Go look it up yourself. I personally am not going to go into it. But I know he's had some awkward encounters with certain people, including one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, Susie the Sphere Hunter. And uh, anyone who does anything awkward in terms of encounters with one of my favorite people is not deserving of my sympathies. So please... Let's just see what happens here. Resident Evil 4 Remake is assuredly on the way. What happens here now in terms of when things get announced, when things get released, we don't know. But we're certainly going to keep up with this and see what happens next. Hopefully we will get the announcement soon. I mean, game awards are right around the corner and we've had, what, several... Uh, Resident Evil announcements at the Game Awards in the past, so wouldn't be a far cry to assume that we could possibly get a Resi 4 announcement there. And I sincerely hope they continue these remakes all the way through 5 and 6, that way 6 can be kind of, you know, written out of continuity, the existing 6 that is. Alright, so let me know what you think, and I will catch you next time on Rated RPG. Later.